Okay, members, we are going to see parametric equations of a circle. And now this parametric equation of a circle can be used to determine the circle itself. Now, we have to, we can categorize them into two. When the circle is centered at the origin, or oh, oh, this parametric equation is r, x equal to r and theta, comma y equal to r and theta. If the circle is having the center at any point, say C, A, B, then its parametric equations are given like this, where R is the radius of that circle. Now, to, for example, examples are going to see, we need this hint. We know that this is the percent in the tree, right? In the tree, cos squared plus sin squared is equal to 1. Put that at the back of your mind. Now, show that the parametric equations, this and this represent a circle. All you do, you make cos the subject, you make cos the side the subject. From here, my cos is r cos theta, and I'm saying my y is r sine theta. In this equation, I need the cos and the side. Remaining the subject is that my x over r is cos theta, and my y sine theta. I am now from equal to one, and I just substitute. This will be now square then plus equal to one. When you square, you have x squared over r squared equal to one. What type of by r squared? x squared, y squared, equal to r squared. I think that this is the equation of the circle. This is its center and the origin. Now when I have this, now they are going to give me a parametric point. Or is the point this is x and this is y. So from here, my x is comma, because the point is always x, y, comma. So my y is Still, we make sign the subject and cos the subject. When I take this, this side is going to become my plus. I'm divided by this two to be my cos theta. Then here, when I take this to the side, it becomes a minus. I'm divided by this two sine theta. From there, still I say from cos squared theta. Equal to one, and just substitute. I have now x plus three, then plus equal to one. From there, you see that I'll be having x plus three squared then plus y minus five squared over four. Okay. Over 4 equal to 1. When you square this, you square this. Multiply it by 4. Four. And now, here, the one that pertains here, you can give it this for you expand. Its center is going to be the center, you say, our center is always at, if you have this, x minus x squared, you compare it with the general equal to r squared. Our center is the same, for me is that my a is negative 3, my b is 5, and my r is 2. So now my center is negative 3, 5, my radius is 2 units. Now, there is the easiest method to determine the center of the circle. Alright, so look here. We say if it has a center at a b, this is the these are the equations. Now it's not always the this coordinate here, this value of a is going to be the exponent of the center. This value of b is going to be the exponent of the center. It is, and always this coefficient is going to give you always the radius of the sub. Now, in one step, you could determine this. This is going to be the x coordinate on the center. This is the y coordinate of the center as this. Then your radius is always this. In one step, but don't do that, please. I wish you the best.